When we started working on the concept art for Rise and Zero Dawn, it was almost as, as if Aloy as a character kind of jumped out of the concept art. She was the ideal vessel, I felt, to explore this world, to unravel some of these great mysteries. Years before we had her in, in the way that she is now in the game. Praying won't save us, we have to find the killers. It's such a massive, long, ongoing, iterative process, I would say. Finally, when all the elements came together, we felt that, yeah, this is her, this is Ava. I think we've created and designed a very strong character that hopefully we'll see a lot more of. I think it's really hard to design an iconic character. You can hope for it, but it's not something like, okay, that's it, put a stamp on it, it's iconic now. There are people even within this building who are they were feeling like is like, oh, how do we try to you know get something that's like to 90% of Nathan Drake? Looking at the Killzone games, we were kind of doing it the wrong way around. With Aloy, we had a, a protagonist now that is as strong and as iconic a character as the Hellgas were as antagonists. There's so many, I think, different layers also to designing a character. She's this combination of a voice actress. There's the face, there's the hair, we have uh, the costume, there's how she moves, there's the, the dialogue that also adds to her character. You can help, or you can get out of my way. It's nice after so many years to have it out there and hear people what they think about it, what they like about it. It's been super invigorating seeing the, the immediate response to Aloy as a character. I mean, the, in, in the cosplay scene, uh, there's been such a huge interest in uh, finding out more who she is. It's very clear that, at least for these people, Aloy is already an iconic character. To get that confirmation that we, we actually touch upon something that's, that's relevant and people uh, respond to it very positively, that's hugely, hugely positive for the team. You've come a long way since the Citadel, Aloy. Who are you? An interested party. A large part of what made her is the narrative itself, Big. It started shaping her as an identity, as a character. So ultimately, whether we give her red hair or blonde hair or dark hair isn't really that important. It's more that the character itself becomes iconic. I don't think that there's anybody working at Guerrilla Games who hasn't fallen in love with Aloy. I mean, for us, she has become someone who feels like a real person. The nice thing about our story, the way that it's written, is that she's emerging from the area that she's lived her whole life and going out into the big world along with you. So everything is just as new to her as it is to you. Uh, and you, you feel a real resonance with the character that way. Eloy is I think a very appealing character, the way she looks, but more importantly, the stuff she can do. I mean, she's super agile, she's quick, she's very crafty, she's very strategic. Uh, she's, she's a great person, a great companion through ex uh, to explore the world of Horizon Zero Dawn. Where the trail leads, I will go. Pre-order today and get the Nora Machine Trapper Pack. Please stay strong.